Welcome back to the flowchart. Welcome back. Welcome back. We have only a certain amount of steps remaining to us. One, two, three. Ah, ah, ah. So, we're going to cut right to the chase here. Cut right to the chase and announce the winner. really the final order we're going to be doing things here. So first and foremost, we're going to break lock number three. Five minutes of life. After which, we're going to solve the mystery of the two-headed lion. And finally, break lock number nine. Assumedly the final lock, so to speak. Lock number one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I assume that's all the locks. I assume, but we shall see. We shall see. For now, though, five minutes of life. Be a brief video summary, but essentially this is the Dio Betrayal Route, where we go through the lab with Dio. We find the Excelvior. We give it to Dio like a dumb shit. Dio holds it hostage for an ally vote. Dio betrays us. We now have negative BP. And... We are dying. So... I'm not even going to try to explain the information we got on Sigma's route. I'm not even going to attempt to explain the information we got on Sigma's route, which unlocked, unlocked this. We're just going to experience it. That's a scalpel. That's a dangerous thing you got there. You know the whole point of that thing is to cut through flesh. Just be careful with it. Yes, Tenmyochi, I am. Shush. We don't have time to talk about this. Rock, paper, scissors. R -r -r Rock, paper, scissors? We have to decide who's gonna press the button. And you think that's a good way to decide? Shut up and do it. One, two, three. <laughs> well, clearly that's the, clearly that's the vote. Eyes, 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 eyes. All of the eyes directed. Directed firmly to the monitor. Ooh! Oh no! Ah! Oh boy! Everyone's in danger of dying. Rip. What do you mean this isn't the first time? About a year ago, nine oh, shit. people were kidnapped and forced to play a game. The rules were different, but it was called the Nonary Game too. I feel so terrible saying this, but Quark is... Quark has an... infection. A viral infection. Oh no. Oh, hold on. What's this lever-like thing? Well, it's got a lever on it. Don't get too attached. It's probably a lever. Boo! Okay, oh, okay. I'm not sure what's going on, but here goes. Words were barely out of my mouth when he moved. Before I could blink, the file disappeared from my hand. Uh, hey, what gives? What are you doing? Dio slipped the vial quickly into his coat. Oh, don't worry. I'll keep it safe. I'll even give it back to you later. No, not later. Give it back now. I don't think so. If you want it back, you're gonna have to listen to my request. Request? Yeah, that's what I said. If you want this back, in the next A-B game, you have to choose Ally. Are you really going to do what he says? Yeah? Sigma, 
You've only got one BP right now. If we choose ally and he chooses betray... I know. I'll drop to negative, negative one and that means I'll get penalized. But that means... Look, it's not like I want to, alright? If we don't do as he says, it'll destroy the medicine. If he does that, then Quark will... Quark will... So you're going to die to save his life? That's... Why would you do that? I don't know. An Ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Sorry. I went ahead and cracked it open a bit early. Of course you did. Interesting. All right, I think I got it. It looks like they're talking about Radical Six. Ooh, what? Why are they talking about that? Not sure. Let me read it to you. Keep in mind I'm paraphrasing. When the body is infected with Radical Six, the processing speed of the brain is reduced. If we assume the brain currently operates on a one-to-one -one basis with regards to time, Radical Six reduces this to one to the square root of one-sixth. Approximately 1 to 0.048. What's the word? What's the haps? <clears throat> Alice isn't here. Alice isn't here. What the fuck? Well, I knew that was going to happen. Yep, knew that was going to happen, too. Okay. Can we beat the fuck out of Dio now? And throw it to the ground. Yes. I knocked Alice her out. In the AV room. I fucking knew it. Shit. She has collapsed. But you needn't be concerned. She is only sleeping. Oh my god. No. Jay. What You're not you coming back Alice? for us. You will need to ask her yourself. I must take my leave. Dio's here. Ally? Betray. My eyes had lost the ability to focus. I could make out a blur that had to be Dio in front of the number 9 door. D damn it! You'll keep your promise! God damn it! Let's see what happens. Okay, this is immediately post vote. Sigma's BP is. Negative! Suddenly all eyes were on me. I felt their weight, but stood my ground. It was the result I had expected. I took a deep breath and closed my eyes. I didn't have to wait long. <laughs> stabby stabby. There was a sharp, quick pain in my wrist, barely even noticeable. I couldn't feel anything flowing into my veins, but I knew it was there. First would be the anesthetic soparil. Wow. I blinked, and my vision started to blur. When I tried to think, it felt like my mind had been stuffed with cotton. My legs began to wobble, then gave out entirely as I crumpled to the floor. Sigma! Sigma! Hang on! Hey! Sigma! Get up! Sigma! Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Trying to open my eyelids was like trying to lift sheets of lead. My eyes had lost the ability to focus, but I could make out a blur that had to be Dio in front of the number 9 door. D damn it! You'll keep your promise! God damn it! I groaned and with a Herculean effort lifted my head, and then my sluggish body, off the floor. Every step was a battle, and whenever I shifted my weight, my muscles threatened to give out again. Somehow I forced myself ahead, a single thought burning in my mind. I would reach Dio. Then at last. Oh, you're approaching me, Sigma? A smudge of color faded into a recognizable person. I threw out my hand in front of him. Gif. Give it back. Give me the medicine. I have to come close.
closer to beat the shit out of you, Dio. Get back. Don't act like it's yours. Are we supposed to share everything we find here? I don't care. Just hand me the medicine. What are you talking about? We found the Accelivere. In the laboratory. And Dio stole it. Wh what you, you mean he has it? Right now? Yeah. So? I kept my promise. Now, you. I wasn't a fool. I knew the kind of person Dia was. There was a chance he wouldn't give us back the Accelivere. If he didn't, then I'd die with my hands around his throat. I gathered as much of my mind as I could, and got ready to attack. <laughs> Fine. Not quite what I'd been expecting. Here. With a shrug, he pulled the vial out of his pocket and tossed it toward me. I caught it and pulled the tiny glass bottle to my chest, worried it might drop it. The label said unmistakably, Accelivere. It was the real thing. Whoa. Clover, take it. I held it out toward her. Right. Whoa. Of course. She quickly tucked it into her pocket. Good. Now at least Quark will be all right. With that, the last of my strength left me, and I dropped to my knees. <gasps> Sigma, are you okay? Do I look like I'm okay? Sigma. 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 I guess this is it. First is the sofa reel, which put you to sleep. Nine minutes later, the tubo <laughs> cure rain is injected, numbing your respiratory muscles. I guess you could say it'll really take your breath away. Take my breath away. <laughs> nine minutes. Once the sofa reel was ejected, I had nine minutes until the muscle relaxant followed it. About four minutes had already passed left me with five, give or take a little. In five minutes, I would be dead. What could I do in five minutes? How could I save myself? <laughs> I gave a raspy, quiet laugh. Even with death staring me in the face, I seemed to be determined to struggle right up until the very end. Okay, Sigma. You can do this. Thing desperately to what little consciousness I had left, it racked my brain for any possible solutions. How could I save myself? How? There had to be something. Every problem, no matter how difficult, has a solution. There's always another option. Hopelessness is a state of mind. I just had to think. Think, think, think. If there was a way out, I'd find it. I wasn't ready to give up on life yet. There had to be an answer. Yep, there's the Sigma route. Sigma, what's wrong with your hand? There's something white on it. It's a good thing Clover wasn't there when that happened. The in your arms isn't anything close to human. Your arms are... cybernetic. I have a feeling she would have made a bad joke. Gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that? I have... cybernetic arms? It was both shocking and utterly obvious. Of course my arms were artificial. Titanium alloy bones with an EPT exterior to mimic human skin. I had no idea why. Nor did I know when my human arms, which I distinctly remembered having, had been replaced. That flash of Luna I'd seen. I was certain it had never happened. Those things hardly mattered, though. If I survived, I could worry about them later. The fact that my arms were mechanical, however, that might be useful. I called up all the strength I had left and stood one more time. What are you waiting for? 
Why don't you open it already? Uh, what? Did I stutter? Open the number nine door. S Sigma! What are you saying? <laughs> you really Looks need... like you finally gave up. You really gonna use the door to... to... Whatever. I was just about to flip the switch anyway. Then hurry up and... Hey, don't rush me. Okay, you got 9 BP now, right? Y yes Well, what do you say? Wanna come with? I... I... Hmm. I will remain here. Oh, why? I cannot abandon Sigma. Don't worry about me. Go. You have to get outside and call for help. But... Do you think Dio will? If he's the only one who gets out of here, then there's no hope for the rest of us. You're the only one we can count on. I understand. Great! Glad we got that settled. Shall we go? No! Stop! I began to move, but it was already too late. Dio grabbed the lever and threw it down. Dio doesn't happen to make it to the surface for whatever reason, but we won't blame you in the slightest Please, case. do not give up hope. Yeah, no. Just get going already. But... Just you, Kay. Huh? As Dio turned to look at me, I crouched. Then calling on every last bit of strength my wearying bo wearied body could supply, I launched myself toward him like a coiled spring. Boing! I slammed into his legs, knocking him to the floor, and wrapping my hands around his ankle before he could get back up. Oh, oh, oh! Hey! What are you doing, you bastard? The door's gonna close! Let go! Let go, goddammit! Let me go! He lashed out with his free leg at my head, shoulders and arms, but I held on. I ignored the pain, tightened my grip with tightening my grip with every blow. Hey! What the hell is this shit? Why are you doing this? I kept my promise, didn't I? Yeah, so did I. As far as I recall, I didn't say anything about letting you leave letting you escape. <laughs> Ellie, finally we get to pull out a Finally we get to pull out a fire. <laughs> This is the specific promise wording Shit. that fucking Dio and Fi have used no, against throw us. Around, asshole. Finally! I have to get out of here. I'm not going to let my sacred mission get fucked up by some self-righteous idiot. Dio began to pull himself along with his with his elbows, bit by bit, edging closer to the exit. He was headed straight through the door. The gate was already beginning to close. With only a few feet to spare before it shut, he crawled across the threshold and beyond the door. Sigma! Stop! That's enough! Please, you could you have to let go! I mean you I mean you guys could help. The door's going to shut on you if you don't let go. You guys could have you guys could help. I mean, just saying. All right. See you later, Dio. Ha! <laughs>
<laughs> Shut up. You're an idiot right up until the end, aren't you? Just hurry up and die. You senile old fuck. What? No. I I'm going to live. <sighs> Ooh. The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. I mean, that's one way to accomplish As the that. game is over. All doors other than the number 9 door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. The announcer's voice grated at the inside of my skull. I felt tired. So very, very tired. I felt my eyes fluttered closed. Then nothing. Well, here we are. Hmm? Sigma! Sigma! Finally awake, huh? Where am I? I rubbed my eyes and slid my legs off the bed to stand up. Well, to be honest, it was an examination table, not a bed. Which meant... The infirmary, huh? I guess they carried Alice. you out here after you passed out. You guess? Well, I wasn't there to see it. I was out, just like you. But I was in the AB room. Why? That bastard Kay. He punched me in the stomach. Oh. Uh... I can't believe him. He didn't want me voting, so... Whoa. And after he knocked you out, he voted Betray, which brought his BP up to nine. Yes. The sneaky bastard. So, where is he now? On the other side of the number nine door. He left, along with Dio. With Dio. You told him to go, remember? Uh-oh. Yeah. Is your arm okay? Arm? I heard what happened. Cybernetic arms, huh? Can't say I'm surprised. I was starting to get a feeling something was up with you. Really? I looked down at my left hand. Or rather, I looked down at where my left hand should be. Should have been. Instead, there was a stub wrapped in white gauze. I told myself I'd do anything to get the cure, even if it meant letting Dio betray me. But I had a feeling I might come to miss my hand. Oh yeah. How's Quark? I'm right here. Quark! There you are, Quark. Man, I'm glad you're all right. Feeling better? Yep. Thanks to you. You got the medicine from that jerk deal, right? Luna gave it to me, and now I'm better. Good job. Thanks. You're the best, Mr. Sigma. Oh. You saved my life. It was worth it. It seemed they've shared stories while I was asleep. Everyone knew now how I'd made a deal with Dio and what the journal we'd found with the Latin in it. Clover and Fi seemed to have done most of the talking. It was completely the opposite of what we guessed. We're not infected. The rest of the world is. That means this place isn't ah. a quarantine facility. It's more like a shelter. Well, we don't know anything for sure yet. I thought the same thing you did, but then Sigma pointed out a couple of discrepancies. Yeah. Fi and I have already gone over it, but... I explained what I'd noticed. One. If we were in a shelter for uninfected people, why had Quark been infected? Any place designed to keep a virus like that out would have had a lot of safeguards to keep anything from getting in. Had the virus really bypassed all those measures? 
didn't seem likely. Two, the timing of our abductions and the pandemic's outbreak was strange. It would make sense if we'd been rescued after the disease had become widespread, but that wasn't what had happened. First we'd been abducted, then the pandemic had broken out. Three, we didn't know why Zero had put us in the notary game. We were survivors he wanted to protect, then why try and kill us? If we were in a shelter, why wasn't it safe? Um, well, what about this? Maybe someone anticipated the pandemic. I don't know who. Probably Zero. Anyway, they grabbed us before the pandemic really started. Then they put us in the shelter. Why us, But then? then, after a while he got bored, so he decided to have us play this game to kill time. Yep. I mean, sure, but who on earth would make people he rescued play a game where they could die just because he was bored? Especially when he supposedly saved us from the pandemic. Well, we don't actually know if there is poison in this bracelet. What? You're the only one who's gotten injected so far. And when you did, it was only Soparil. What are you saying? That what I did at the number 9 door was all pointless? No, that's not what I mean. That can't be it. I'm sure there's Tubocurarine in the bracelets. The Adam's analysis confirmed it. Oh. But what if the Adam is lying? Oof. If you're going to do that, then we don't have anything to base any speculations on. You could say that the newspaper article was fake, or that the Latin journal wasn't real. Or the journal was real, but my translation was a lie. <laughs> Five being intentionally... <laughs> intentionally, specifically vague. No. Suspiciously vague. No, no. You made it all up? No. My translation was accurate. Just saying. I'm just making the point that once you start talking about this stuff being fabricated, it doesn't stop. That's a fair point. I don't think Zero is doing this just to take the piss out of a lime. What? Uh... <laughs> I was just trying to stress that I don't think Zero would do this to pass the time. How do you make that mistake? However, I do think Clover has half a point. Just half. <laughs> Meaning? That someone did anticipate this pandemic. That part seems reasonable. Well, if the virus was spread on purpose, then I could see how that might make sense. Yeah. It's not like Noah put all the animals on his ark after the flood happened. He went around before the rain started falling to gather them all up. Fair. Right? Are you saying that we are rescued because we're all that's left of humanity? We were brought here because someone knew there would be a pandemic that would turn us into an endangered species? Does that mean we're supposed to... repopulate the planet? I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> repopulate. Breed. Hmm. I looked around and did a quick inventory. Four women, an old man, and a kid. That meant I was the only young, fertile male. <laughs> Your population, huh? Sigma, this is going on for too long. That didn't sound so bad, Sigma. If that was the case, maybe there wasn't any reason to escape. The newspaper and the journal were right, and the world outside was crawling with a deadly virus. Why would we go expose ourselves to that? This would be the safest, happiest place on Earth. God, please tell me this doesn't turn into the dang game's over. bad ending. There's no point to any of this now. No, that's not true. Mm. The game might be over, but we've still got a lot of unanswered questions. In fact, we've got even more questions. So? Are those answers going to open the number nine door again? Probably not. It's all over. Why we're stuck here doesn't mean shit. The eight of us aren't leaving, ever. That's all that matters. Eight? You... you're including the old woman? 
Ah. Yeah. Hey, you know what? What? What if the old lady is zero senior? <laughs> Dramatic cut. Uh, yeah, you're right. I never had considered that. But that would mean the person in charge of all this was murdered by somebody. That doesn't make sense. Maybe she wasn't murdered. Huh? Huh? Are you saying she was infected with Radical Six and killed herself? Oh. We didn't find a knife or any kind of weapon in the AB room with her. Maybe she was killed somewhere else. Uh, and then someone carried her in there. What? That's ridiculous. Well, maybe we should go take a look at her one more time. Maybe we missed something. Uh, sure. Okay. What's going on over here? You look down at the body of the old woman. If I was the first to move... Quietly and methodically, she began to examine the woman in her clothes. I just stood there. Even if she was dead, no, especially because she was dead, I just didn't feel right touching her. After a few silent minutes, Phi suddenly stopped. She pulled something from one of the old woman's sleeves and held it out toward me. Could a sheet do? A card? Uh... Oh. Looks like an ID card for this place. Since it's got her picture on it, I'd say it's a safe bet the card is hers. <sighs> huh. Looks like her name is... Kurashiki. Kurashiki. Ever heard it before? Nope. You? No. Anything on the back? Jumpy doll! Huh. There's something written here. It says Jumpy doll. Well, actually, it says pass equals Jumpy doll. So I'm guessing Jumpy doll is a password of some sort. What the hell does that mean? Beats me. Looks handwritten. She must have put it on, put it on here herself so she wouldn't forget it. Yeah. Is that why the computer in the director's room... Oh no. Is that why the computer in the director's room didn't work the first time we were in there? But it did the, the second time we came in there? Because someone got this card and used it on the computer? We were still looking the, the card over when I heard a commotion from the other part of the room. Alice, what's wrong? Oh no, we've already used our Excelivir. Alice! Oh no. What are you planning to do with that? Oh no. Fine, I turned around and gasped. <gasps> Damn it. We ran to the other end of the room and skidded around the partition. Oh no. There stood Alice, her hand wrapped tightly around the scalp. She didn't seem... stable. Maybe Quark was on to something, and... The old woman was infected with Radical Six. And that's how it started spreading through us. She didn't seem stable. Her eyes were flat and hollow. Her face was an emotionless mask. She was not well. I don't remember... You're probably going to immediately call me out in the comments, because I'm likely wrong. I don't remember how exactly Radical Six spreads, but I remember it being pretty infectious because it caused a fucking world pandemic. She was not well. The look on her face was all too familiar. Quark. She looked just like Quark had before he went insane. And we already used all of our Accelerator. That meant. Goodbye. Oh no. Her hand moved, lifting the scalpel up high in the air, and driving it down toward her heart. Oh Jesus!
Well, that didn't spell. <laughs> that. That's... That spells the exact opposite of good news for the rest of our, uh. inhabitants. That's not good. God damn, that's not good. Holy shit. <gasps> wow. Even still, I suppose the only involvement this route actually had with Quark was being a route where we fought Dio to save Quark's life with the Accelibear. So I'll accept that as the reason it's Quark's ending, but even despite that, in terms of other endings we've seen, this did feel like a coherent story arc with a solid ending. Aside from the few Definitely compared to something like Clover's ending, where it's literally just uh, Okay, I'll tell you about me. Now everybody's dead. And that's it. And we did, we did admittedly get an interesting piece of information there. The ID card, Kurashiki. Password equals Jumpy Dog. Now, is that the actual login we need for the computer? And the two gates are just the long passwords that we got down the line. Yes, I'm doing my best effort to not think about what happened to everybody else after Alice died. An equal and opposite reaction. Curing Quark had an e Curing Quark of Radical 6 had an equal and opposite reaction, where Alice died from Radical 6. So that fits. We're almost there. We're almost there. Old Woman's ID card, which we're gonna need to get into here now. All right. I still can't believe there's a fucking choice here. I mean, it's gotta be an obvious one, right? I don't even know what it would be. <sighs> yeah, not really. Comparing to the other endings we've seen, Kay's ending, although kind of sudden, still felt like a complete character story. At least we understood why, what happened in the end. Why he killed Dio, obviously. We also get resolution to the uh, Dio killed the old woman arc. Which completely contradicts what I just said during the ending, that Quark might have been onto something. But then again, this is a different path. This is a different path. It might still be... It might still be that 
Dio killed the old woman. Dio obviously still up to no good in here, but Cade was a relatively complete arc. In the end, well, kind of underwhelming. You could say Ted Miyoji's was a complete arc. It didn't answer all of the questions about him, but it answered enough about him and Quark. And really, that's what this was about. Just playing the game with Ten Miyoji the whole way down. Which one had the IG replicator this round? Okay. I did. I. I still liked Alice's route, honestly. Even though, unfortunately, we didn't get to actually do any resolve any of the bomb issues raised. Still painted her in a significantly better light. Although Clover's end was so sudden, it was still kind of... She just understandably, unmistakably, get an explanation, believable explanation for why she's such an awful secret agent. She's literally pretty much still a rookie. Sigma's end... I mean, it resolved the thread that really only started from here, but it's enough of a character thread. Raised more questions. Quark's path was, again, a lot of this just started after the second escape, but it's still a story resolution. So, alright. I suppose next video we will be logging in and figuring out what the hell's going on here. Till next time, until then.